Big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this channel happen. If you also want access to my online swing dance school, consider supporting us on Patreon. Jamin here, make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss anything because I'm always gonna be talking about some stuff. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at two dancers that I really love. I'm so nervous because I feel like they're a part of my own family. We kind of came up together and danced, just we partnered sometimes together, but we're friends. And anytime I get a chance to see people who are kind of close to me and dance, I get nervous. I really do. And I know they're good, but every time they perform, they add something a little more. It just tells me that they're just working constantly. And I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know if it's a improvisation totally, or if it's kind of a mix of what they normally do, which is some choreography and uh, a lot of improvisation. So let's go. All right, Sonia and Hector, Hector and Sonia. Here we go. Oh, I love this song. Yes. Yes, repeating the phrase. Oh, oh that was dead. Yes. Oh, that was beautiful. Something so simple, but so beautiful. Ah, that's good. That layering is beautiful. Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Man, I gotta tell you guys, envy is not a good emotion. It, it, it's it's just rooted in coveting, but there's there's got to be a way of explaining the less evil aspect of that emotion. I, I feel like there's a part of me that really longs for what this couple has. I don't know about you, but my entire journey in swing dancing did not consist of the privileges that these two have had. And some of you may know what I'm talking about. Some of you are in your own town and you have your one partner and that's it. You guys develop a style you have years of working and teaching and you perform and you compete and you go back and you work on your craft and you reform your ideas and you go back to compete and you get yourself back out there. 
and you kind of become bored with yourself and you kind of want something else and you want other people to work with. I did not have that privilege. In fact, it's a blessing that I didn't, but it's also kind of a curse. The blessing is it helped me develop my own strengths, my own uh, ideas, but those ideas will ne were never put into a opportunity where you have one person to work with and develop and polish those ideas. And when I see this couple, they really represent the quintessential couple who lives in the same town and they've maximized their work ethic. I really appreciate seeing that. There's not that many who have this type of privilege where you got your partner in your town and you can continue to work and you can continue to teach and develop your style in such a way you all just gel and it looks so, so beautiful. Every time I see them perform, they are getting better and better. There's always room for growth, but the kind of growth that they have, it isn't something that is dramatic. It's, it's very nuanced and incremental. They're, they're just stylistic things that help them hone in on what they do best. I don't ever feel like they are losing themselves um, now that they're at a level of maturity and, and experience. I don't see them doing that. I, I feel a lot of dancers, you know, they start off, they end up working together. They have this idea of where, hey, we live in the same town. We have the same benefit. Let's work and grow. But they kind of abdicate their own style and they start imitating other people. I didn't see Sonia and Hector do this. They do the exact opposite. It's amazing. It really is. And I got to say, guys, this performance was so good. The song, the recreation of this song, that's good. The band nailed it. it it's really hard to perform to a live band when the track that you're dancing to was made by musicians in some cases who are far superior. Those original musicians, <laughs> they needed to eat, folks. They had to really compete and bring their A game. And I was always reluctant to just have a band do a recreation of that song unless that band was really good. So big shout out to the band for crushing it because that was amazing. That was amazing. My favorite, there were a couple of parts that I really wanna highlight here. The part that really stood out to me first, obviously, is their control. They have constantly worked on their control and gotten better and better at the style that they have, which is a little bit of a flexible style where you can see where the momentum is building and you kind of see where they're going. And the surprises aren't necessarily with the intensity of how they're moving together. It's more about their syncopations and what they're doing individually together. Sometimes they speed things up, um, but you can kind of see it coming. So really, in a way, it makes it harder to be impressive, but they find a way to do that. And so this section right here, uh, man, when they come out and, whoa, that's, that right there is amazing. I, I got to say, uh, let me do that again. Just this little section right there. See, from this angle, I can't see that Hector is grabbing her hand. I thought he was grabbing her back which I think is an even cooler move if someone can pull that off. It's just literally go behind the back and then throw their partner forward uh, in a way that's inconspicuous. That was mean. That was just so awesome. Now, there was another point that really brings up another topic I like talking about is paying homage, guys. I see a lot of people doing people's moves and they, they, <laughs> they say, oh yeah, yeah, I respect them if you call them out. But a lot of people don't pay homage to the people who are creating ideas. Sector, and, uh, sector. I keep saying that, Hector and Sonia are working hard to create their thing. And it's amazing when they create a new way of doing something that we're familiar with. If the entry level is easy, like a, a basic Charleston, they'll take that template and then add something fresh and new with it in a way where it makes people maybe want to emulate it. But I'm seeing people emulate this particular, this little move right here. I love this. Boom, boom, that little section right there. I know Hector made that up. <laughs> I saw it the very first time when he did it. And so that's impressive. I love the fact that they're able to go back, take ideas that they've done before in other routines, and continue to present them in a way where they become more familiar with other people where you go, ah, that's a Hector move. That That's definitely them. And so 
I love seeing that. And I, I just wish more people, if they borrow people's moves, at least give them some credit, guys. Give them a shout out or something, all right? Another section that was really amazing was this right here. This is an example of, I like to call it the the Sky and Frida philosophy. Now, the Sky and Frida, Frida philosophy, people will you know, talk negatively about them. When you first get in swing dancing, you're like, ah, these people are too simple. You know, it looks kind of boring. But the more you stay along and you continue to work on your swing dancing, you realize their movements aren't elementary at all. The shapes might be elementary, but how they move within those shapes is very complex and sophisticated. And so they take simple things and make them look hard. And I see Sonia and Hector kind of replicating that philosophy in their dancing. And I love it because I love when I see people do that. Right, we got a basic tuck turn. Like, take a look at this. They come in and then boom. <laughs> that little lean that they do like that. I mean, they do a lot of open hand things, which is really cool. That's kind of like their their finesse like style. And I just didn't expect that in between uh, a hand to hand Charleston. That was amazing, guys. I think that might have been my my highlight of this uh, routine. So that right there. <laughs> really special again it highlights the beauty of working hard with one partner and being able to develop and mature your style but it also highlights the beauty of being able to take simple things and make them look more complex so i don't know where you're at in your dancing but i would encourage you to try that i know it's if you're really really flashy and you like to do a lot of fancy moves you might want to tone it down a little bit and see if you can kind of replicate this philosophy and see what it does to your own dancing. I know it helps me when I kind of, you know, work backwards sometimes in, in terms of making my movements more simple to become more complex. And in the process of doing that, you end up creating new things. So let me know, guys, what did you all think about this one? I'm not going to lie. I was tempted to watch this again before I gave you guys how I feel about it. But then it's going to change you know, my my perspective on it. And, you know, once your awareness has been expanded, you can't go back and pretend you didn't see something. And so I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to give it to you raw, show you exactly how I feel in this moment. So let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.